This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools unit, Lesson 12, Updating Records, Puzzle 3. Let's see what we have here. Update Record, Callback Function. You may have noticed that the callback function for Update Record has an additional parameter. Yep, success. When Update Record finishes, I bet it's a Boolean value. When Update Record finishes, it returns the Update Record as well as Yep, as well as a uh, boolean value, uh, boolean called success, which is true if if the record was successfully updated and false otherwise. The success parameter is useful in altering how your program behaves. Ah, because if it returns false, that means hey, it didn't find the record, and it would avoid an error. Uh, oh yeah, based on whether an error occurred when the program tried to update a record. Your code from the previous exercise has been provided. Do this. Add a line to the beginning of the update song that sets song to update dot seconds. Okay. Hint, eye of the tiger is, ah, got it. Add an if else block inside the callback function for update record. If update record finishes successfully, print out the updated record's title and artist. Otherwise, if update record does not finish successfully, print out an error. Run the program and verify update song title and artist are still printed to the console. Open the data viewer and check that the record for Eye of the Tiger, Eye of the Tiger is now fully filled out. Your code should end up looking similar to the code depicted in this image. Okay, so we're going to do, yeah. So, what did it say? Alright, let's go down here. And where we update the artist of this songs to update, and remember, songs to update is going to be uh, whatever is passed to our update song. Update song is the last record, so when we call this, we loop through our songs, we're council logging them, we then council log these stars, we then create a variable last record, and it's the records right? Records is what is returned when we say, hey, read records. The second we hit run, we're asking the database for the entire, uh, the server for our entire database. What the server gives us, we name records, and then we use records.length to get the length of those record, to get the length of the database, because it is an array of objects. We then loop through, iterating through it, getting the first object at zero, second, third, so on, and console log them. We then make a variable last record and set that equal to records and then records.length minus one, which would be the final index in the records array. So the last song, which is Eye of the Tiger. We then call update songs, last record. Last record, remember, it's gonna be Eye of the Tiger. We drop down here, songs to update, that's our last record, so that's our song. We then add an artist to it, but it doesn't matter that we've added an artist to that uh, last record uh, object. The server doesn't know that. Well, now we grab songs to update this object and say, hey, update the record server of the my songs database. Here's the song we want to update. And we get the record returned on success and a success handler that will be equal to true or false. Ooh, complicated stuff. So we don't just want to update the artists. We want to update the seconds. So song to update dot, I mean the second, we want to update the seconds. And we use dot notation for the property, right, to change the seconds length of the song because it's empty, 244. And then we want a success handler. Oh, I wish, oh well. And so they're putting this console log, got it. Let's go ahead and do this. And so if success, what that really means, I wish they were more clear on this. Um, so our if statement here. So remember if state, oh, uh, if statements run if they are true. So since s success is a Boolean value, right? Success. If the server returns true, we want this to run. 
So if I just put success here, success is going to either be true or false. To make it more clear, I'm going to do this. So if success equals true, right? But I don't actually have to put equals equals because if I just put success, success is a Boolean variable, you could say. So success is already equal to true or false. So I don't have to ask if it's equal to something because as long as this is true, putting success here is the same thing as putting true if it were true or false if it were false because that's what it actually is representing. But I'm going to do that. I think it's more clear. Um, okay, now if successful, well, then we can do this. And then what did they say? Council log error. Got it. And these uh, booleans returning upon success or failure, um, that's common in programming. Error, record not saved. So remember, if, if statements, so if success is equal to true, we'll council log the record. But if it's equal to false, that means something happened. We didn't find that record. So we don't want to council log it because we're not going to get a successful record returned, right? What's going to be returned by the server is the new database with our updated info. But if we're trying to get the title and artist, um, we're, it's not going to be successful. It would uh, push out an error. So we're going to avoid the error and just let ourselves know with the council log there is one. Okay, I think that's... Yep, let's give it a shot. Songs, yep. But ah, so that ran successfully. Let's check our data here. And perfect. We have it all filled out. I kind of want to test out the air. Yeah, I am sure we will shortly. So, yep. What we wanted to do was what they pictured. It's a bit tricky, though. Anyways, uh, this is some powerful stuff. Ooh, that's going to bother me. Let's uh, keep going.